Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Miss Haley from Code Speak Labs and welcome to the Hour of Code. You know, one of my favorite things about technology is that it can be used as a tool to do good in the world. It's amazing. Developers like you and me can create apps to perform impactful actions such as educating the public on big issues like climate change or endangered species or helping people to develop good habits such as exercising or just eating healthy. And today we're going to do just that. We will be creating an app that helps people plan healthy meals. I know for sure that I could use this app. Let's go! Alright everyone, so here's the app that we are building today. On the left hand side you should see our example app, so if we click the play button we see here that it says click here to choose a new meal. So we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Click on breakfast. Here we go. Click here. Let's go for lunch. Got some nice orange juice, a healthy salad. Let me click one more time. Let's see for dinner. Some noodles. We got a piece of fruit and a smoothie. So we have some healthy choices here. And that's what we're going to be building today. So here I have a blank Bitsbox app open right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to give our iPad a backdrop. Let's see, fill place setting. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create three arrays. An array is basically a list in JavaScript. We can put in different items, we can take them out, and we can store different sorts of information in this data structure. So we're going to create one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And in each of my arrays, I'm going to put an entree, a snack, and a drink. So feel free to choose your own food item. All right, so we've created our arrays. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create four variables. And a variable is something that stores a value. So let's see what we've coded. Right now, I've created four different variables. So let's take a look at entree, snack, and drink. We've used the stamp function to stamp an item on our screen, and that item is going to be something from our array. So for example, I look at line 9 that says entree. We're going to stamp whatever is in position 0 inside of meal. So meal, position 0, we go to breakfast. And we see that in position zero, because we start from the number zero and we count arrays, is oatmeal. And let's look at snack. So we go to snack, I look at my position one, I go to breakfast. So position one is zero, one is orange, two, and then so on. And the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to hide some of the items in the screen because we only want to see our items show up when we click the iPad. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some text to our iPad so that users can choose whether or not they want to click breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So right now we're using a built-in function in Bitsbox called the text function. And we can use this to place letters or sentences or words on the screen. 
and we can choose how big or large and what size our text appears, the font, the color, and so on. But feel free to pause the video if you want to take some time to type your own text in. And we click the green play button and we see that we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the screen, which is what we want. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a function called tap. And what tap does is every time we click on the screen, something is going to happen. And we're going to start off by hiding our entrees because we don't want them to appear right away. So what we're going to be using in our function tap are statements called if and else statements. What this is going to do is going to check for where our user taps on the screen. So for example, if the user taps over the word breakfast, we want to show them breakfast. If they tap over the word lunch, we want to show them lunch and so on. So to do this, we have to check whether or not a user taps on specific coordinates. So if I take my mouse, you should see the X and the Y coordinates on the screen at the top corner. So let's first start on breakfast. If the user clicks on an area where its Y coordinate is less than or equal to 100, we are going to show them breakfast. So we're going to take our meal variable that we declared earlier and set that to breakfast. And then let's get rid of our lunch and dinner text because it's all about breakfast right now. All right, we're going to do the same thing for lunch and dinner. So if the user clicks on an area where the Y coordinate is less than or equal to 200, so somewhere over here, which is lunch, we are going to show them the lunch selection. So we're going to take our variable, set it to lunch, and then we're going to hide our breakfast text and our dinner text. And you're going to also do the same thing for dinner. All right, so we've used conditionals to check where our user is tapping on the screen. The next thing we have to do is we have to actually put our, our meal selection on the screen. So to do that, we're going to use the built-in function called stamp. a look at what's going on right here. So inside of our stamp function, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our stamp, which is in a certain position inside of the meal array. So we see our entree is always going to be in the zeroth position inside of our array. The snack item is going to be in the first position, and the drink item is always going to be in the second position. And if you see three other numbers here and you're like, what are those for? These are the coordinates at which the stamp will appear on the iPad screen. And then we also have the size, so you can always adjust these numbers to how, you, how big or small you want your food items to appear on the screen. But we want to make sure that our entree appears on the plate and then our drink appears on the table. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to show these items. So we're going to call entree.show, snack.show, and drink.show. And last but not least, we're going to add one more conditional. we add our choose meal text and voila here is your help app all right folks we've reached the end of today's project if you enjoyed developing this healthy app with us give this video a big thumbs up make sure to subscribe to our channel and I hope you enjoyed coding along with Codespeak Labs 
And most importantly, don't forget to give yourselves a big round of virtual applause. This is Coach Haley from Code Speak Labs, logging off. See ya.